Welcome to Creative Drawings, where embroidery magic begins. Today we will create a his and hers towel set that's perfect for your washroom or to give as a housewarming gift. Let's start with the his towel. We will begin by editing an existing embroidery, then we'll add a sail, create a row of sailboats, and add lettering. Go to Create a New Document, and then we'll choose the From Embroidery and the embroidery we will use is in the Designs folder under Signs and it's Design 10126. The Designs folder can be found either on your installation CD under Designs or it may be installed on your computer. Once you've chosen 10126 then choose your hoop to be a generic 100 by 100 hoop and then click Next. Remember it's very important to select the fabric that you will embroider on. The fabric choice will set your density settings as well as underlay. Today we'll choose Embroidery Normal Light, Toweling and choose a light color and click Next. Leave the threads to use at 4 and choose your thread palette at Sulky and finish. Here you have your basic design. Let's go ahead and zoom in and make sure the rectangular selection is chosen. Click and drag a box all the way around the first sailboat and let go. That goes ahead and selects the whole sailboat. Once you have the sailboat selected, click Copy. Now we're going to create a new document. This time with a new graphic, leave the hoop generic 100 by 100 and click Next. The embroidery normal light and toweling just as we did before and finish. Notice that the paste icon is highlighted, click Paste, and our little sailboat from the other design has now been pasted into our hoop. Go ahead and zoom in on that sailboat and now we're ready to create the sail. Left click outside your work area and go over and choose the create outline shape. Remember some of the icons have the little arrow at the bottom right hand corner. That means you want to click and hold down that icon with the left mouse button and then you can drag over and choose create outline shape if you do not already have that on the left hand side. Once you have that chosen you'll see your pointer has a new icon next to it. Move your mouse pointer over the left bottom part of the sail and left click once. You now have a little string that's hooked to that node point. Move your mouse to the center part of the sail and the center left part of the sail so you're right on that edge right where that satin stitching is and left click. Now as you move what you're going to see is that line or that little string moves with your mouse and it also creates a curve. If you want a point which we're going to place at the top part of the sail where the sail meets the mast hold down the shift key on the keyboard. So hold the shift key on the keyboard and left click. And now you're going to get a straight or what's called a cusp node. Do the same thing. Hold the shift key down, bring your mouse all the way to the down the mast to the bottom part of the sail and left click. And finally again while holding the shift key move your mouse over the top of your first node and left click. That completed the object. Right click once and that actually sets the object. Notice my icon or my mouse still is this create the outline object. If you want to go ahead and create a new outline or another object you just continue on. In this case we're finished so right click again. Now that you have your sail we want to change that under object properties to a step fill. So click step. It's now changed to a step fill area. Left click off. 
So you can see how that object you've created, it's actually a Above the rest of the sailboat. We actually we want that to go behind. So there are two things we must do. Go ahead and left click on the sail, that light blue or that sail portion, that fill portion again. And the first thing we want to do is get rid of the outline that's around the sail. Go down to the thread palette. You'll notice that there is a little pin over the dark blue area or the dark blue color in your thread palette. Move your mouse over to the box with the X and in the upper left hand corner go ahead and left click. And what we've just done is we've just taken away the outline from around that sail. That's how you do that very quick and easy. Let's left click again on that sail if you deselected it and now we want to move the sail to the back of the design. To do that, it's really easy. Right click, go to order, and go to back of design. Now you're going to see that the sail is behind the satin stitching, which is exactly where we want it to be. So let's zoom out just a little bit. Once we've zoomed out, you want to choose the whole sailboat. One of the easiest ways to do that is use hold down the control key and press the letter A. That selects the whole design, everything that's on the screen. And in this case, we only had the sailboat, so that's exactly what we want. Move that sailboat toward the upper part of your hoop area and way over to the left of the hoop. With that sailboat still selected, Go over to your tools on the left hand side and we're going to create rectangular array. Remember if you have the circular array, left click and hold and move over until you see the create rectangular array and let go. Choose your horizontal copies at 5, vertical copies at 1, and then you can use that right node area and notice how when you click and drag it's changing the distance between the sailboats. You just want to make sure to fill up that whole area across your hoop. Once you have the sailboats how you like them, click Apply Rectangular Array and that sets those sailboats. So there they are. They're ready to go. We have one last step and that's to add some lettering. Go to the left hand side and choose the edit text box or the edit text tool and go ahead and left click on that. The font name that I'm using today is Britannic Bold. In our case, if you because Creative Drawings uses the, you know, the fonts that are on your computer, you may not have Britannic Bold. If you don't, Arial's fine or choose another font that you like but Britannic Bold is a really nice font for this particular application. I'm going to choose the font size at 40 and then I am going to place a check next to italic and the reason for that is you'll notice the sailboats are kind of at an angle. The italic will make your lettering at an angle as well. Move your mouse into the bottom portion of the hoop and left click. There's actually a very slight blinking cursor. It's hard to see because we have a white background. All you have to do is type in the his and you'll see what your letters will look like directly. Once you have that typed in, go ahead and choose the rectangle selection again and that will set your letters. Go ahead and move those in your hoop so they're in the proper proximity, so where you like them with your sailboats. And now, with that his still selected, I am simply going to choose by left clicking on the bottom right hand corner of the blue box, I'm going to change those colors for that his. So those letters are now that pretty blue that's the same that's on the sailboat. So really you're done at this point. You want to make sure to save your design not only as the draw file format because that makes it easy to come back and choose but also as your sewing machine manufacturer format. 
Come back in just a little bit and we're going to go ahead and make our hers towel as well. For the write-up on the his towel and the hers towel, go to www.creative-drawings.com and then go to the Creative Ideas and Featured Products to download.